What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video you're going to learn how to create a pop-up image for your sales, for your some presentation, for some promotion of your site in a simple, fast and easy way, okay? Without paying absolutely anything. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in our choose internet on our site's favor. So let's get this started. First thing, go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, and hover a mouse over plugins, and click on add new plugin. Into the upper right corner of our screen, next to keywords, you're going to be able to find a field called search plugins. Right here, we're going to type Firebox, just like this. Pop up builder, on page load, pop up exit, pop up login, pop up on click, sticky bar, and add block. Firebox, click on install now. And click into the activate button. Nothing to worry, the plugin gonna redirect you to the plugins list. A list where you can see all of your site's plugins, okay? Scroll it down just a little bit, review the left side bar of menus once again, and next to settings, you're gonna be able to find a new menu called Firebox. Click on it and click on Overview submenu. Right here, we're gonna be able to see the performance of our pop ups, okay? Or of your sticky menus. But in our case, we're gonna create a new campaign. So click into this blue button, New Campaign. We can start with a blank template, I don't recommend that. So we're gonna start with a sales image pop-up, okay? I'm gonna click on insert. Wait a moment so the page can be created. Now I'm gonna hit the publish button into the upper right corner of my screen. Let's review the site so I can show you. As you can see, as soon as I load the site, it's gonna show me a pop-up, okay, with an image. You can create this image on, for example, your Canva, on your Photoshop, okay, and this image can show some promotion with a link to the promotion landing page. Easy, simple, and effective, right? But in the case that I want, we can change this image, okay? All we have to do is click on the image. There is a field that gonna appear called replace, and then we're gonna click on open library. You can select an image from your media library or click into upload files and select files from your computer, okay? What else we can do? We can apply a link. So if I click into this link icon, I can enter a link to the image, okay? For example, click on link, enter, click on apply. Let me update. And now let's review. If I click into this image now, I'm gonna be moved to the borderless plugin page. And of course, you can customize with your link. Now, if you scroll down, you can see a couple of extra options. For example, design, pop up size, campaign, editing font size, padding, margin, text, alignment, and even the close button can be edited. There is the close button into the upper right corner of my screen. If I click, the pop-up is gone. Screw it down just a little bit. We can set animations, borders, overlays, in the case that I want. Background image, in the case that I want. Now we can move to behavior. We can set the trigger point, the position of the pop-up the delay, we can have a closing behavior, in the case that we want that the page do something, in the case that someone close the pop-up, and auto focus, okay, for accessibility. Now, to display options, we can display on all pages, we can monitor campaign, or we can set a couple of pages, okay, for example, select conditions. So we can select a couple of pages to display the pop-up or just a website single page, like our home page, for example. 
all we have to do is play with these filters right here. We can have some actions and the advanced options where you can apply custom codes, okay? After doing all your changes, always remember to click into the update button and review and test the banner on your site, on your bubble, on your tablet. And remember that you always can design settings for every single screen size that you want, okay? Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It helps your site sales. And don't forget to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question left. In addition, don't forget to check our borderless plugin to get widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg, or Enzu WordPress team, the best WordPress team you can install to customize your site in the way that you want, our growth.net platform, a place where we can submit our, our blog for receiving and publishing guest posts. In addition, with our sites.gallery, a CSS gallery where you can promote your site, your app, your landing page, your game design. And finally, in the case that I want to go premium while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to our entire templates library with all our themes, templates, plugins, assets, icons, pre built type size that you can import with a single click and many, many more things to create the site of our dreams. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.